we can, Mr. Mayor. And our town isn't any worse than the rest of the towns in this territory. Sheriff, I'm only concerned about this one. It's not a safe place to live in. Some of your deputies just aren't on the job. The Daltons are in this part of the country. Every precaution must be taken. Well, if we clamp down too hard on the cowboys, they won't patronize this bird. And that story about the Daltons being around here is just plain bunk. Maybe. But rustling, stage robbery, bank holdups, and gunfighting in the street are still going on. As representative of the Bitter Creek Stage Company, let me tell you something right now. If this county doesn't make transportation safe within a month, we close the Navajo service. And that means my bank and the legitimate merchants of this town will be forced to close. And Sheriff, I for one won't let that happen. I'll call in the army first, but you won't be here to see it. You got that straight? As I said, I'm doing the best I can, Mr. Mayor. You'll have to do better than that.
Saunders here said you wanted to see me. That's right. Glad you could come in. How's the cattle business? Not bad. Herd's getting bigger every week. What's on your mind? Well, I had a little idea I want to talk to you about. Well, if it'll make any money for us, good. All of Mike's ideas make money, Manson. You ought to know that by now. What's eating you, Sheriff? The vigilante committee yapping at your heels again? They sure are. And they mean business this time. I think you fellas ought to lay low until this blows over. Yeah. Go down and buy yourself a drink. We'll do the wiring for you. What's the matter, you bashful? Use the back door. Now, what about this new idea? Well, it's a long story. out of the express box. We'll take care of the passengers then. Shall we take them now? No, we'll wait until they get the money out of the strong box. All right, get out of the stagecoach. Step lively. Stay where you are, everybody, or we'll drop you. Set that strong box back on the stage. Next time, I'll wrap it around your head. Throw down that saddlebag. Driver, get that stagecoach out of here. Ah! 
Puff down them shooting irons and mind you, handle them with your fingertips. Now get out of here. Bring down the street, down the street, down the street A handsome gal I chanced to meet, oh she was fair to view Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon I asked her would she have a dance, have a dance, have a dance I thought that I might get a chance to shake a foot with her Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight? Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? I'd like to make that gal my wife, gal my wife, gal my wife. I'd be happy all my life if I had her by me. Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight, can't you come out tonight? Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? And dance by the light of the moon! What'll be your pleasure, stranger? Rest me up a cup of coffee, will you? Ain't you got nothing smaller than the 50? Not right now. Twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. Thank you. Twenty-five dollars a bet, gentlemen. Mind if I sit in? No, set, stranger. Five handed games better than four any time. I'll buy in for a hundred. Come along, we'll sweep the kitchen clean, my dear, and have a little song. Hope the wood, my lady, love, and make the fire burn. And while I take the banjo down, just give me much a turn. Hi, Nelly, oh, Nelly, listen, love to me. I'll sing for you, play for you, a dulcet melody. Hi, Nelly, oh, Nelly, listen, love to me. I'll sing for you, play for you, a dulcet melody. Nelly, fly, have a voice like a turtle dove. I hear it in the meadow and I hear it in the grove. Nelly, fly, have a heart, warm as cup of tea. And bigger than the sweet potato down in Tennessee. Hi, Nelly, ho, Nelly, listen, love to me. I'll sing for you, play for you, a dulcet melody. Hi, Nelly, ho, Nelly, listen, love to me. I'll sing for you, play for you. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in introducing the pride of Navajo, your favorite and my favorite, fresh from her triumphs in Kansas City, St. Joe, Abilene, and all points west, Miss Jacqueline Fontaine. I'll give the right kind of love to the wrong. She might have been fresh in Tombstone, but she sure stale in Navajo. Oh, you just ain't got an ear for music. Listen, big boy, this is May, remember? 
I staked out a claim on you. I found the right kind of love with a wrong kind of man who's like no other man I have known. He's not the least bit refined. He's not nobly inclined. Just a guy with a mind of his own No one can change him I'm well aware But right or wrong, weak or strong I don't care I'll give the right kind of love to the wrong kind of man Just as long as my man wants me there No one can change him I'm well aware But right or wrong, weak or strong I don't care I'll give the right kind of love to the wrong kind of man just as long as my man wants me Slick-looking guy in black over there. Yeah, what about him? Well, he's one of the what is that held up the boy just after they stopped the stagecoach. You sure? Recognized his voice. What's more, I think he's just Dalton. Could be. Since the Dalton's disbanded, nobody's known what happened to him. What are we going to do about him? I don't know, but if he's Dalton, he must be quite a guy. Hello, Bob. Hey, bartender. Fix me up a schooner of milk and a soda water chaser. Milk? You want a little stinging of the course. No, I, I got stinging up in me already. <laughs> You're the second guy come in here today that don't drink whiskey. What is this town coming to? How do you do, old timer? Howdy to you. I've never seen you around these parts before. No, I've been doing a little prospecting down in the Matagurus. Doing any good? Oh, no. Well, pretty good outside of the gold bugs. Ate up all my reserves. Gold bugs? Ain't you never heard of gold bugs? No. Well, they're sort of like a termite, only they eat nothing but gold. <laughs> ate me out of two years' hard work. Why, you... Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That's a joke, son. <laughs> Say, uh, they tell me this is the most peaceful little town this side of the Smith and Wesson line. Thought I'd kind of hang around, see if I could pick me up a job. Say, did you ever drive a stage? Uh, did I ever drive a stage? Well, I drove a stage five years for Wells Fargo with Geronimo's Apaches uh, contesting right away on every trip. Guards. I'll take three. I'll take two.
cards you draw, dealer? One. Open a batch ten. Twenty to play. suppose that hot bubbers about? Well, they were wearing masks. There must have been a hold-up. Well, well, they didn't go anywhere. I've never seen a hold-up like that before. Well, the house can't make any money this way, boys. Get back to your drinking. I wouldn't advise you to use that word tin horn, Mr. Big Mouth. Your hands are full and mine aren't. I was only kidding. That's better. Now, if you must know, I grabbed myself some cover out back. I don't mind deliberate shooting, but when lead is flying all over the place, it kind of makes me nervous. Mr. Leonard come back yet? No, he should be in any time. Where's the sheriff? He sure ain't here, Mr. Thorne. Not surprised at that. What happened? Nothing much. They just robbed my bank of $40,000. Come to think of it, it seems to me the sheriff went over the county seat on business. You better send a writer for him. Meanwhile, we'll get the boys together in your office. Hey, is the shooting over? It's safe enough. You can stay in. Yeah, well, then I'll take up my game where I left off. What about Mansi? He had his pony hits just out of town. Uh, got on him and rode northeast. That would be back to his ranch. Hit me. Oh, doggone it. Can anybody win in this game? Hey, bartender, give me another bottle of ginger beer. Hey, did you boys hear about the robbery? Sure. Thorne was in here and gave us the news in person. What are you drinking? Uh, rye. George, I'm going to mosey around and get the news. Hey, where was the gambler doing the robbery? Out back, I guess. What was he doing out there? How should I know? Just getting out of line of fire, I guess. Say, what are you getting at? Oh, nothing, except it seems kind of funny that a gunfighter like Dalton would be crawling off into Alice. Dalton? You mean to say that he's that notorious character? I'd swear on it. And I called him a tin horn. And from what I hear, the masked men who did the shooting at the other end of town are the Daltons. The Daltons? What are they doing in Navajo? 
Something got to be done and done fast. As long as the sheriff's out of town, I suggest we form our own posse and go up to the gang. Well, since it has to be done, why don't we get started right now? Stay where you are, gentlemen. Now, take my advice and don't go after that money. It would just be a waste of time. Who are you? That I can't tell you, but believe me when I say your money is safe. Safe? It's a trick. The money stolen from your bank is in Leonard's office, probably in the safe. Leonard? But how? Why, he's out of the county. You mean he's supposed to be? The sheriff's supposed to be out of town, too, but he isn't. Why are you telling us this? I have my reasons. One of you men step over here. This will tell you what to do. Now, Mr. Thorne, get back over with the boys. And don't read that note until I've gone. What does it say, Jim? Leonard should be back in his office within the hour. At that time, get in touch with the sheriff and... Uh, Fontaine, your number's coming up. Good evening, boys. Have a nice trip, Mr. Leonard. Very prosperous, thank you. Very prosperous. Give me the cash box, George. Hey, I, I think my luck's changing. I'm gonna have another go at that blackjack game. Deal him up again, partner. This time I'm gonna take you. trying to put the B on you for that robbery. So you uh, better be careful. Thanks. Sorry, you lose again, old timer. Has Leonard come in yet? Yeah, he's in his office. Good, that's just where we want him. Come on, Sheriff. Oh, uh, Mr. Thorne, I don't think we ought to be in too much of a hurry about this. Do what we told you. I'll take entire responsibility for this. Well, Farrell, Smith, you two cover the back. Mr. 
Mr. Leonard. Well, good evening, gentlemen. Nothing wrong, Sheriff? If you'll pardon me for saying so, Mr. Leonard, these gentlemen suspicion you had something to do with that robbery. Really? <laughs> you boys wouldn't be trying to railroad me now, would you? Let's stop mincing words, Leonard. We want to look in that safe. I'd be very happy to show you what's in the safe. I suppose you know that I could take you into court for this. Open that safe. There you are, gentlemen. What did you expect to find, Thorne? A high hat with a rabbit in it? What do you mean by accusing innocent people? Where did you get your information? idea. I've been playing poker. This gent hasn't. The king of spades in his full house is from my discard. You've been fooling with the deadwood. You make a dust trail fast, Mr. Tinhorn. I figure on settling down in these parts, and I don't like a knife slinger in the same town with me. Stranger's right, Mr. Leonard. I've been suspecting this guy for some time. This is not the first time I've heard about you. Throw him out. I'd like to have a word with you privately. the way you handle yourself, Dalton. I didn't say my name was Dalton. I know about the brush that you and your brothers had with the law. And I also know that nobody but the Daltons would have nerve enough to hijack the Lodestar payroll. And from my men, too. Tell me something about yourself. Maybe we can get together. There's nothing much to tell. I can handle a gun and a whip. Any other specialties? I gamble a little. Well, that's more like it. Seeing as I need a dealer, how would you like to work for me? Suits me. You're on as of now. Who's your boyfriend? It's a friend. Hey, my palms itching. <laughs> that me, 
means I'm gonna win some money. I hope you do, old timer. Uh, give me a stack of chips. Uh, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm part of the setup. The new dealer. Mm, so I see. Uh... Congratulations. Thanks. You really work fast. You come to think of it, uh, you do too. <laughs> and how long have you been working here? I just started last night. You see, I came in on the stage yesterday. You did? You mind if I place a bet? Glad to have the business. Will you change this? They're planning something big. I think it's going to happen tonight. I'll keep my ears open and let you know if anything develops. Thanks. See if you can find me some card players. Pleasure, sir. Miss Talbot? When you're working for me, I want you to attend strictly to business. But I am, Mr. Lewis. Good, I just wanted to be sure. You see, I don't like competition. Besides, I'm going away tonight and we'll be back with tomorrow. And I wouldn't want anything to happen to you when I was away. Why, Mr. Leonard? Where's Lance? Upstairs. Take care of yourself, Miss Talbot. Don't worry. I will. of Western Mountain Time. <laughs> Looks like Jones' information was wrong. I don't think so. Have you noticed there isn't a gunslinger in the place? What'd I tell you? it go? Just like clockwork. Everything right on like it. Come on, let's get out of here before they start shooting back at us. <laughs> That's Leonard with his satchel. 
I'll watch him. You follow Manson. Something must have gone wrong. Well, what is it, Adams? If this is about tonight's robbery, I feel duty-bound to tell what I know. That man dressed in black is Chess Dalton. He is? Wanted for murder and robbery in four different states. Any of these boys can swear he wasn't on the premises when the robbery took place. You better come along, Dalton. There's no arguing with a six-gun. Let's go. Look out, Sheriff! <laughs> What is this? Letting a little shooting interfere with a man's drinking. Give me a whiskey. Make it two whiskeys. Wake up, George. Customer's thirsty. I'm sorry, May. There's so much shooting going on around here, it's making me a nervous wreck. Uh, when I was tending bar in Abilene, nobody had to ask for a drink twice, no matter how much lead was flying. Did you say you tended bar? I don't aim to brag, but... I've been tending bar all the way from Abilene to the gold fields of California. Why, in my heyday, there wasn't a man that was... What did was... you say your name was? You mean you ain't heard of Hank? That's what they call me. Honest Hank. Hank? Why, you're just the man I'm looking for. Say, how would you like to take my place here for a couple of days? Well, may not be bad for a change, being behind this thing once more. What's in it for me? Ten dollars a day and all the liquor you can drink. Well, that's two gallons more than I ever got. I'll take it. Say, what are you so anxious to leave for? Just got word from a sister over in Prairie Dog. She's down with the chicken pox. Oh, chicken pox. Chicken pox? That's catching, ain't it, May? It sure is. That's enough for me. I'll see you later. Wait a minute. Where you going? Wait for me. Come in. Well, how did it go? Well, the posse's still looking for those two. What I can't figure is why you're so anxious to get rid of that tin horn. I have a hunch that he knows I'm behind that bank robbery. Besides, if you brought in Dalton's hide, it'd be a feather in your cap. And that girl that you've got working for you, she seems to be doing an awful lot of riding in the daytime. Riding? What do you mean? Well, me and some of the boys were roaming the hills, and she was doing a little roaming herself. You know, I think I'd better keep my eye on her. You keep your eye on Dalton. I'll take care of Miss Talbot. Oh. Well, Mike, what'd you do with that cash? I'll tell you in due time, Sheriff. Yeah, sure.
up on this Manson, and what did you find out? Nothing. He hasn't shown up all day. But I learned something that should be very interesting to both of you. The Daltons are in this territory, living at Manson's ranch, posing as cowhands. What makes you so sure? Well, after you boys left the other night, the gang had a meeting upstairs. I overheard some of the conversation. They were referring to each other by their real names. Jess Dalton is using the name Billy Saunders. Now it makes sense. Well, if they're the Daltons, Leonard must know them, and how come he accepts you as Jess Dalton? He didn't, really. There had been some talk about the Daltons being in the territory, so they pawned a new Dalton off on the people of Navajo in order to throw suspicion off of themselves. <laughs> and on to you. John? You'd better get back to town and see if you can find out what Leonard did with the stolen money. If you have any luck, get in touch with us. I'll do the best I can. Good luck. Thanks. It's one of the Daltons, and he's after Joan. Let's take him. I don't think you'll bother, Fuzzy. Right now, he's on his way back to report to his brother. His brother? Yeah, I've got an idea that Mike Leonard is really Clint Dalton. Boy, we're sure mixed up in the bee's nest this time. Is that anything new? Then after a while, they all came out together, as friendly as you please. Did you hear anything of the conversation? No, it was too far away. But it's a cinch they're in cahoots. Say, Clint, you don't suppose they're detectives, do you? Of course they are. But don't let that concern you. I'll take care of her. You stick around the saloon. I have a hunch that sooner or later, our little canary is going to fly back to her fine feathered friend. And then we'll have them. I get you.
Maybe it ain't in my business, boss, but the canary went upstairs a few minutes ago and ain't come down yet. Thanks. I'll be right back. Business is good tonight. Business is always good. What are you doing in here? I just came in to powder my nose. Well, the next time you want to use my office, why don't you ask me? I'm sorry. I just wanted to get away from the crowd for a few minutes. I didn't think you'd mind. Just give me one little hug. One little squeeze, one little kiss Whisper you love me, do it and then Do it over and over again Just stay as cute as you are Morning and night, heavens above What a delight, love me and then Do it over and over again I'm yours forever and ever What if the sun don't shine? It makes no difference to me As long as I know you're mine So give me one little hug One little squeeze Then with a kiss Take me to heaven Kiss me and then Do it over and over again just give me one little hug, one little squeeze, one little kiss. Whisper you love me, do it and then, do it over and over again. Just stay as cute as you are, morning and night, heavens above. What a delight. Go on, beat it. He's still staked out. and over again. I'm yours forever and ever What if the sun don't shine? It makes no difference to me As long as I know you're mine So give me one little hug one little squeeze, then with a kiss Take me to heaven, kiss me and then Do it over and over again Your act's over, sister, move along That's for Hank to say, isn't it, sugar? Take your claws off him. He likes it, don't you, honey? She can take care of herself.
All right. Make up your mind. Which one of us do you want? If you don't mind, I think I'll have another whiskey. play solitaire at a time like this. Oh, I told you he'd be right in, Miss Joan. Now stop fretting and sit down. Flash knows what he's doing. Thanks, Fuzzy. I'm checking up on a friend of yours. Seems Billy Saunders followed you out from town. Saunders? Yeah, Lash got a little plan. I think it's going to work out all right. We've got to work fast. Did you find out anything about the money? Leonard may have it hidden in a wall safe behind a picture. I just had it located when he came in. He must have suspected me if he had Saunders follow me out here. You'd better stay here until we give you the word. I have an idea things are going to get pretty hot in Navajo. What about Saunders? Don't worry, I'm going after him. Fuzzy, as soon as we're out of sight, pick up the gold we hijacked off the stagecoach and meet me at Red Rock Canyon.
Mr. Dalton. You and I are going to have a nice talk. Don't make me laugh. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Well, you were here at the time, Alvin. You saw the note he gave me. I still can't understand why he told us Leonard had the money. Unless he was one of the Daltons trying to pull us off the trail. Are you gentlemen referring to me? I advise you not to move, mister. This time we've got you covered. It's just Dalton. Sorry to disappoint you, gentlemen. The name is LaRue, Lash LaRue, United States Marshal. Well, if you're a marshal, why that get-up? It was the only way I had of identifying myself as the man who tipped you off about Leonard. I realize it sounds a little complicated, so I brought some proof. Come in. This here is the Lone Star payroll. It was taken off the stagecoach. What's this all about? Mr. Mayor, let me introduce to you Mr. Lash LaRue, United States Marshal for this territory. My partner, Fuzzy Jones. Fuzzy Q. Jones? Why didn't you tell us the Marshal was on this case? I didn't know it myself. It's our policy to work secretly as much as possible, especially when we're dealing with outlaws like the Daltons. Then the Daltons are in this territory. That's right. We've captured one of them already. I'd like to outline my plan for you. Tonight at 8 o'clock, I want you men back in this office. Because just about that time, I... You say Bud didn't make the ranch? No, I thought he might be here. That's funny. I told him to pick up that gambler, the girl let him... Something must have gone wrong, Clint. Mike, I mean. That gambler's a lawman. See who it is. Clint, they're wise to you. That fellow you had working for you as a gambler is United States Marshal. See, what did I tell you? Shut up. What else you find out? They brought in the Lodestar money they hijacked off your brothers. And tonight they're having a meeting to decide how to round up the whole Dalton gang. So they're having a meeting, eh? Good. Emmett, ride out and round up all the boys and tell them to get in town as fast as they can. Tell Manson the same thing. Right. What do you plan on doing, Dalton? Seems that this gambler friend of ours is full of surprises. Well, we know a few ourselves. Just say that we're planning a little surprise party for him. their brother and tied me up. Clint Dalton or Mike Leonard or whatever he calls himself sent them. That can only mean one thing. Someone tipped them off since we were there. And I think I know who it is. Are you all right now, Miss Jill? Much better, thank you. Come on, we haven't much time. The Daltons work fast. Here said get in town. You wanted to see me. What's going on anyway? The boys and I decided to pull out. Yeah? What's the idea? The territory's getting too hot for us. But before we leave, we decided to pay Jim Thorne's bank a little visit. Jim Thorne? Oh, no. That's getting a little too close to home. Count me out of this one. Just as you like. Where's my cut? Oh, no. Wait a minute, Dalton. I've been on every deal with you since you arrived in this territory. I demand my full share, just like all the rest. Or else...
We're all here, Clint. Good. We haven't got much time. We'll have to work fast. I want you to get all the horses in the livery stable. And then... There you are. Okay. Got change for 20? I think so. Nice day, isn't it? Sure is. Five, ten, fifteen. Mind if I give you the rest in ones? No, I don't mind. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There you are. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? I want to draw out some money. Do you have an account here? Yes. Here are my credentials. Now, where's that money? In the safe. Get it. Yes, sir. Open it up. Yes, sir. Drop them guns. Get over there to the wall. Come on, Jughead. That goes for you, too. Oh, by the way, you uh, forgot your hat. Going someplace, Dalton? I don't know how to thank you, my dear, for the great job you did in helping Lash and Fuzzy clean up the Daltons in Navajo. Thank you. I had a feeling the sheriff was working with Leonard, uh, I mean Dalton, but I never would have suspected the mayor. Anyway, they're all in jail now, and you were marvelous. Thank you. Mm. I think my stage will be along in a few minutes. I'd better be going. It's been awfully nice working with you, Joan. Maybe we'll get together on another case sometime. Thanks, Lash, for everything. Thanks, Fuzzy. <laughs> well, the Daltons didn't throw Fuzzy, but Joan did. 